strategies of Software Center is to actually internationalize and connect ourselves more to international centers, especially here inside Europe. Uh, Marlin was in uh, Hagenberg at the, what were they called again? The Competence Center Hagenberg. We're talking to a few other groups. I personally have good connections in the Eindhoven region. In some areas in Germany, we have good connections. But we are also, uh, as Chalmers, and indirectly also through Software Center, connected to an EU initiative, uh, which is to build a center of excellence around uh, big data for smart society called uh, Gate Institute. It's based in Sofia in Bulgaria, which I had the opportunity to visit uh, a few months ago, I think, yeah. in February. February yeah. In February, beautiful place, really enjoyable. And they're doing a number of really interesting things. And we wanted to uh, uh, give Sylvia the opportunity, as she was in town anyway, to give a brief introduction into what uh, the Institute is about and what uh, they're doing. And this is actually, in many ways, complementing some of the research that we're doing within Suffer Center. And I know that they're quite interested in also getting connected to some of you, you and your companies. So I think it's quite a very interesting institute. Uh, Sylvia is a wonderful person. I had lunch with her <laughs> yesterday and, uh, you know, it, uh, instead of the scheduled hour, it took more than two hours. So with that, uh, I wanted to give Sylvia the opportunity to basically institute, introduce the institute and give us a bit of a presentation. Yes. Of this. Okay. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Jan, for this kind introduction and hello, everyone. Uh, and thank you for the opportunity to have a presentation and thank you for the invitation for your event. I'm impressed by your uh, initiatives and, and your activities. Um, so, Gate Institute, uh, so first about me, uh, I'm professor at Sofia University and uh, before uh, building, uh, establishing a gate, um, I established a master program in software engineering, then a bachelor program in software engineering and department so, of software engineering. So my background is basically soft software engineering. And 2016 and 17, uh, we started this initiative and apply in European Union to uh, provide us, to give us money uh, to uh, establish such an uh, institute on uh, big data and smart society society within Sofia University. As in Bulgaria, we don't have so much money for research like uh, in Sweden you have, so uh, we applied for this um, uh, money. So, and you, we can see uh, a gate as a, um, as a startup uh, because uh, European Union uh, gives us money as a seed money to establish it and after that to become sustainable. And our advanced partners, partners who know how to do this, uh, how to do excellent research, which is Chalmers University of Technology, and also Chalmers Industry Technique, uh, who knows how to commercialize the research results. They are partners uh, of us, and they're helping in uh, all our journey uh, to establish uh, this uh, in Bulgaria. So our main aim is to develop this big data and AI applied research, which is uh, not uh, for the research, but uh, to be applied for the society. Uh, also innovation, education, as we're part of, still part of Sofia University. And by the way, uh, this uh, next academic year, we will establish master program in uh, big data technologies. And we are collaborating with government, industry, entrepreneurships, and uh, also uh, internationally, as we are part of Europe and our institute is supposed to be European, uh, with European value. Uh, so what's the, uh, our, uh, yeah, the scope of this uh, institute? Uh, first, most important are people, uh, people at different levels, experienced researchers, young researchers, uh, PhDs and uh, admin staff. And uh, they uh, should have knowledge not only in big data and AI, but uh, this entrepreneurial uh, spirit and uh, ready for innovations. And it is interdisciplinary because it's applied research and we need to apply it in different uh, domains and uh, you'll see them uh, in a minute. And uh, also, uh, we are building uh, infrastructure, uh, so we are supposed uh, to have a building uh, with uh, um, 
2050 uh, square meters uh, in November this year, and we'll be happy to welcome software center partners and other uh, interesting events uh, in, in Bulgaria. Also, we have uh, innovation labs, we already have a city living lab with a lot of sensors, and in the building we'll have visualization lab and a digital twin lab. And uh, yeah, what is our value proposition, what we are supposed to do? to contribute to the data culture in the country and in the region, uh, and also to build a platform, a data platform, uh, uh, and uh, which to be used uh, both from the researchers and from our partners, and also mod new models, new methodologies, uh, which will help the, um, our partners in, in the work. And yet our business model, it's uh, the income is supposed to come from collaborative projects with uh, EU funds, from projects with the industry, and also from the infrastructure and commercialization of, of our results. And we're doing all this with partners, uh, like Software Center is our partner, and uh, other partners we already have from industry, from uh, research community companies, uh, in order to uh, succeed. And uh, yeah, here are the, our uh, research areas. Uh, so we are covering the whole uh, big data value chain, from data management, uh, data analytics, data insight, and as we are coming from software engineering domain, engineering big data systems and processes. Uh, and uh, we are applying this in uh, several application domains. So future cities is some of the domains we are working hard, and our partners are from Chalmers University and CIT. Uh, here in CIT uh, is leading a project uh, financed by uh, Vinnova about Digital Twin City Center, and we are cooperating closely with them, and we are doing the Digital Twin in Sofia, in Bulgaria. Also in intelligent government, we are uh, working in disinformation field, in uh, digital health, uh, the Alzheimer is our focus. And uh, now with the new building, with the labs and our new activities, uh, we'll uh, continue with uh, and uh, work uh, with industry. And uh, yeah, you see in the middle, it's the big data platform, which uh, we are still uh, building, and uh, our labs. And what about our platform? Uh, those are the requirements uh, it to be able to work in different application domains, to uh, be able to process different type of, uh, types of data. It's here, yeah, and uh, also to be possible to be integrated with other infrastructure, like cloud and high performance computing. We are having two uh, high performance computers in based in Bulgaria. One is national, the other is European. Um, and also to, to communicate with uh, different sources of, uh, of data. And also to be uh, compliant with, uh, with, the, with the standards uh, and uh, security, privacy. Uh, we, we already have heard about this. We all uh, have to, uh, to have this in mind when uh, building this, uh, this platform. And uh, this is a very simplified uh, reference architecture where you see different uh, kind of components uh, uh, which are um, helping us to process uh, data uh, from, the level, from the first level where we, okay, we uh, anonymize data or we curate data, annotate data, all those activities to prepare data for further um, processing, analysis, modeling, uh, uh, indexing, and, and other activities, and uh, also to use further them to visualize uh, at different levels, different uh, tools we'll use for this, and um, after that use and share with uh, other uh, partners. Uh, so this is the platform. It is, ba it is um, currently, uh, we are building it. It is from uh, open source components with all the problems we know to update them and to integrate. So the most uh, important part is integrating these components. Also uh, components from our partnering uh, organization. For example, we are uh, partnering with one Bulgarian company, Ontotex, and uh, they are a specialist in uh, GraphDB. So we are using uh, this technology as part of our platform. So here are the technologies which uh, we are using to, to implement the components. So I will not uh, pay more attention, you are more familiar about this. Uh, and also we are um, members of uh, some international association, European-wide. We are member of International Data Spaces Association and also from, yeah, uh, about uh, we are mem member and testing center for NATO uh, Diana 
initiative, which is from uh, recent years. So within these two uh, memberships, I will shortly present what we are doing for our activities. Uh, so, with International Data Space Association, what we, are, we because we are a hub for Bulgaria, there are seven, eight such hubs in, in Europe, and one is in Bulgaria. And as a such, uh, we are supposed to implement this technology and to bring it to the society and to the companies. And uh, what we already did, did we did this uh, minimum viable uh, data space, uh, which um, we can use uh, for test and for, to experiment uh, with. Uh, our partners, so those are the three, uh, the, the three main components which we implemented, uh, which are identity provider, broker, where we'll uh, pre present and explain what kind of uh, data we have, and the connector, which is standard, a standardized uh, component uh, where we may uh, exchange um, uh, data and have access uh, to data. There are some more components, uh, but um, will implement uh, in, in the next uh, months and uh, years. And uh, yeah, what is the, the data space? Because yeah, the, the, when you see, uh, when you hear data space, maybe you imagine this is one place where they have data, but it is more ecosystem. It's a framework where we may um, share your data under some rules or under some contracts uh, with the partners you trust on. And in addition to the technology, which is visible that we are having components to uh, share your data, there are other aspects like. Uh, legal aspects, the contracts, and uh, also uh, governance uh, rules uh, to run this, uh, this data space. And uh, we uh, already attracted some partners, more than 15 partners uh, within uh, this uh, urban data space we call it in, in Bulgaria. And one of the first uh, use cases to demonstrate the technology and how it works uh, because we have partners from Sofia municipality and some companies around the municipality. Uh, in Sofia, we have a problem with the kindergartners. There are not enough kindergartens for, when, for the kids which live in, in Sofia, so some parents have to stay at home or go to a private uh, um, kindergarten, so this is lack of infrastructure in, in Sofia. When we discussed with the municipality what are the problems. So we integrate uh, the, using this technology data from different sources, cadastral data about the buildings and the, where um, uh, there are places to walk, because the uh, idea is to have 10 minutes walk uh, uh, to, to the kindergarten for uh, each kid who is living in, in Sofia. Uh, so then uh, we took from National Statistics Institute, which is also a member here, uh, the demographic data where the people, how many uh, kids and how many uh, people are living in, in Sofia and where they're living. And um, also we have uh, from municipality information about where the kindergartens, what are the capacities there. And uh, on, yeah, after that, uh, we did this analysis uh, uh, using uh, uh, AI algorithms uh, to uh, distribute uh, kids uh, to the 10 minutes uh, kindergarten near them. Uh, so, and this is the, we uh, provide this to the municipality in order to take decision where to build a new kindergarten, where to extend the existing one, and how to um, yeah, solve the problem with this lacking infrastructure. But it could be applied with any other infrastructure which is in the city. And what are the, yeah, the, the benefits for the organizations who are joining the, the data space? So first is cost sharing. Uh, so you could not need, you don't need to, to invest so much money, but you share costs with other people where you, um, you, you provide uh, data to this uh, infrastructure. Joint innovation is something where we put start, is something which is identified by Bulgarian community as the most valuable, uh, where uh, after sharing data, from different organizations, from different sources, it's uh, yeah, uh, uh, then you make a new service, new innovation. Uh, for example, we will start a, a project uh, this autumn on this topic in Bulgaria about the mobility in the city, where we will uh, exchange or, or we'll share data on from uh, center uh, from Center for Urban Mobility um, in Sofia, also uh, data for public transport, also data from uh, electric cars and uh, scooters and other 
ways uh, to move uh, uh, in the city. So after that, we will offer a new service, how to, what is the, the best green road in the city, uh, when uh, in a real time to give you advice uh, when we want to go from uh, point B uh, to point C, for example. Uh, combined forces, this is something uh, which uh, is uh, yeah, very uh, valid for Europe, uh, where uh, yeah, this is the ecosystem of partners, uh, this data space. Uh, this is to prevent monopolies uh, from this uh, emerging, which is emerging, like in uh, US companies are having a lot of data and uh, they're using them for their business, but in Europe we are lacking on this. Uh, shared marketplace, it's obvious uh, uh, where players where we see a lot of data and uh, yeah, for a common good. And um, this is uh, also we're using federated uh, learning, uh, applying different algorithms uh, because, uh, again, from 1st of, uh, of uh, June, we are starting a project to prepare for digital health uh, data space uh, where we, have, uh, we will share data uh, from hospitals. And uh, for that, uh, we need this federated learning in order models and algorithms to go to the hospitals, which is already implemented, by the way, in Netherlands. Um, and uh, to, to prepare this in the region because the partners are from Bulgaria, Romania, uh, Greece and Cyprus. And uh, finally, uh, we are uh, yeah, the NATO testing center and uh, this is the Diana initiative which is uh, from uh, last year and we were uh, selected as um, one of the, these testing centers in, in Bulgaria. And the initiative uh, is uh, to uh, bring innovators, uh, companies, startup companies, uh, where there are technologies for dual use, uh, both uh, for society and also uh, for defense, and uh, yeah, just to stimulate them and to use this uh, uh, technology. And also to, to bring those uh, entrepreneurship uh, to bring the end users early at the stage of development and uh, then to educate them how to uh, protect their technology and how to work with uh, the defense. And our role as a center will be uh, to um, participate in this evaluation, uh, verification, validation of the technology and bring them from uh, TRO level four tier to uh, TRO level uh, six. Um, so those are the components of the initiative. First are the uh, testing centers uh, where we are, then some of the companies uh, which will uh, go through uh, this uh, testing center, then you continue to the accelerators. In um, at every stage there will be money uh, from NATO to uh, develop this uh, technology, and then they will be part of the, uh, they will uh, have access to databases and they will be part uh, of the um, NATO initiative for rapid uh, adoption of this uh, service which they created. So this is our role, what we'll do and how we'll support the, those uh, companies. And uh, yes, so this is, I want to finish with this uh, African proverb. So if you want to go fast, go alone. Uh, if you want to go far, go together. So that's why we're partnering with uh, uh, Software Center and NTU and other uh, stakeholders in, in Bulgaria. And uh, uh, we are open for further collaboration. Thank you. Very good. I know that many are starting to run for the exit, but is there any question that you have? Otherwise, Sylvia will be around for a little bit after we close. I did have a question about intelligent governments, because my experience is that government is not always intelligent, but I thought that maybe I would leave that one for now. Uh, what I do think is quite interesting is that, in, in some ways, GATE is maybe a step or two ahead in terms of or in lower TRL levels than what software center technologies often are. What we, I think, are seeing is a way in which the entire society is basically obtaining a digital twin. I mean, the examples that you talked about is basically collecting from every item that we identify in our society will become, uh, will have a digital twin with data associated with, F, et cetera. That's where the data spaces come in. Mm -hmm. But the other aspect is where Partonix presentation was all about, is basically that this also leads to a fact that basically everything that involves software becomes a cyber security threat because 
if everything in society is data-driven and software-driven, obviously all of these things can be used against us as well as in favor of us, right? I think that that's obvious for everyone. So with that, I thought it was really interesting to hear your perspective on this. Thank you very, very much. We are working with Gates, so if you're interested, we can easily uh, get things going together with them. You have intelligent industry, you have a lot around data and data analytics. So I think there are lots of opportunities for us to, uh, to touch points on that one. So with that, Sylvia, thank you, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, coming out and giving the presentation.